Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from all of the LPL spring matchups of the day. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. The action. Better? And then hell, you have some teams like AL the other day who didn't care about them at all. Yeah, I, so the biggest thing is it, it, from what I've heard from players, it's Cop Reliant. But speaking of Cop Reliant, it's gonna rely for Weibo not to get a top lane solo death by ZDZ. He gets hit back, Xiaoshu! He can't make it happen, takes the extra damage. Nayo is here though, and welcome, welcome. ZDZ got the early hurt, but Nayu makes sure it sticks. And I, I'm just so glad. Xiaoshu's not, Nayo just can't get his chicken nuggies here. We do get the Keeper's Verdict, and now Light is left all alone. The TP is coming in, but is it going to be enough? Light just falls, and it's Nayo who gets it again. Vikla is going to dash his way out of there. Xiao, who haven't burned the TP, won't be able to find anything on the back end. All right now, 2k gold lead at 11 minutes out of no... Wind becomes lightning. You know, we typically don't really talk about top lane matchups like this. Is what? Oh Ooh. my god! A couple dark shots though. Oh. I think he's dead. Light wants it. Some autos. They trade each other. Guns blazing. I'm at least happy that Assume was able to trade that kill because it looked like Light was just going to be deleted right off our screens at first. Then tries to take advantage of the fact that he tanked turret. And Mazel looks like the action's not ending. It ain't done. Weaver's wall comes out. Perfectly hits Zora. There and now you have Nayo going in for the in engage. Does get the exit strategy over on Xiao Hu, but he's still going to fall. Beautiful pickup from Xiao Hao himself. All out comes through from Xiao Shu, who's now going to get the kill. And going forward, Emperor's Divide from Vickla is going to separate the fight a little bit. Xiao Shu's still pretty big, but Zora's getting run down by the deer. And that's huge for Weibo to continue to put pressure on RA, but now Xiao Xu and Vikla, they want to tag team. They want to try to take down Xiao Hu. He's going to get him one more auto, and he does. Assume is here too, and Vikla's there. Assume gets the kill on ZDZ, and it's just non-stop action, exactly what I would expect. Right, because we have no potential threats of like early souls coming through, but RA trying to play around. He's Black driving. vision. Xiao Hao maybe not healthy enough. Okay, well, Nayo says you can't drive the Rift Herald. We do get that tidal wave on top of Light. Light's just going at the damage now. Finds a Zoom too. Will end up falling over to Nayo. It'll be the trade through. The charge came out from the Rift Herald, but RA. Further into enemy territory, like, there, there aren't a lot of great angles for Weibo to find Ooh, here. Tidal wave got used. That's a three-man knockback from Xiaoshu. The, the Weaver's Wall, rather, gets utilized, too. ZDZ gets the TP in, but gets pulled back into the team. Nayo's in there, but the bubble comes through. Here comes Vikla on the Ooh. side. He can't get it. Big in first divide. Will just hit Xiao Hao, but Zora had taken down ZDZ. You got the trade back. Xiaoshu's dead. Now also Vikla falls. So big damage in favor of Weibo here as they move forward. We were just saying how no easy ways to make opportunities as Weibo with this comp. And I guess they're kind of made for you. And when Xiaoshu looking for the big engage, and then sadly Vikla, I am able to set down in Baron They burn the Baron. Ooh, well, I mean, that's a Cyclos or third item now, a completed for a soon. They can literally just burn this thing. And I mean, they're gonna try and go for it. We're gonna see what Weibo can find. A lot of flashes are down too. That Weibo are struggling to get in the pit. The Weaver's Wall comes down. They got to commit to the pit. RA needs it. He gets oh. the early smite. No! It's stolen by Xiaohu! <laughs> the Tiger King of Spring! He gets the Baron and Nayu is left one. There could be so many members in different positions. Weibo will end up capitalizing and moving forward. Xiaohu goes out. Xiaohu is on the backside with the Weaver's Wall. Cuts everyone off from RA, but Weibo can't capitalize yet. He does get the Crescent Strike out, or Crescent Guard rather, out of Xiaohu. And now we're repositioning for Dragon Lyric. I gotta give props to Zora. His tidal wave was massive there to make sure that Weibo couldn't follow up on the engage. Still though, that's some crucial ults down. So like, half health now for the Dragon. Who's gonna get it this time? Vikla's on the back end here. Goes into the pit. Oh! There go on to Vikla. The Dragon goes over Xiao Hao. Big it for his divide back into the team composition. But the biggest thing was the Keeper's Verdict that make it so RA take it holy. They did lose the Dragon, but now they're gonna try to chase down Xiao Hao. And they easily pick him off a double kill to assume. And we were highlighting. Weibo stopped. RA need to force the hand of Weibo, so they're gonna start the Baron again. 
looking for it. I'm keeping my eyes on the Azir. Is Fickle going to look for some kind of scoop to get his way onto the enemy AD carries? They got ZDZ a little bit low. Vikla focusing on the Baron here. They need this sustained damage. Culling is so big here. There's the tidal wave on the back end. They're going to focus the Baron now. It looks like they're turning on it. They do get knocked back from it. It's still so tanky, and this is what I talked about earlier. It's so hard to kill. They end up finally getting it. The knockup goes in. Xiaohao's in the midst of it, and it's Nio that goes down first. In the end, it's still just that one trade for the Baron, but RA looking to get out of dodge, going to dodge out of that Weaver's Wall, Ooh. and they are safe and sound. Shao Hu's machinations go wide, as Vikla under tower now might have just sealed his doom. He's going to try to pick off Shao Hao, but it goes back in at first divide. The, the turret shot's not going to be enough as they turn to it, and Vikla falls so Weibo can thrive. And the dragon's gonna reset now and Weibo actually in a really good position now but Weibo on the other side in some trouble now as they go in straight onto Assume who's overextended now is getting just run down by ZDZ Nayo's in the pit but it's too early and he's just gonna fall to Xiao Hu Xiao Xu on the back end won't find anything either and that is an easy dragon take from Weibo and now gonna try and keep it going Xiao Hu might regret that Vickla. but again. nice little angle there he does get himself out so now for Weibo. Oh, nope, or does he? Nope, <laughs> he does not. Xiao Hu will give him a nice warm welcome, as has they, been the case just, this entire game. They, they need to be a little careful. They don't even get the turret. They'll back away now. Xiao Xu is about to go on a rampage, it feels like, because he can't get the last knockback. Now it's going to be Light stepping forward, and the final tower falls. One last defense from RA survives, but no, it's not going to be enough. Weibo, they whole-handedly take game number one after some crazy fighting. It's be a bit of a wash considering it's a tank versus tank matchup you really don't expect too much to happen there especially with the junglers we have as well like i think it, it, it'd be quite hard for nayo to be able to go top and find anything meaningful on the zdz and just in case they want to go for a big dive down there later on shaohu in a little bit of pressure in mid lane vikla going for it does have the emperor's divide the flash oh! predicted from vikla and that should be the lockdown on the shaohu here he doesn't have a way really out of this one try to get out but can't do it first blood goes over to nayo yet again and we'll see shao how trying to continue this this is feeling like a retelling of last game and we are just gonna see shao how pick him back up on the revenge cycle i'm so sad for shao who trying to hold his flash to be able to avoid that strong as a first item <laughs> so see if he can utilize it at all bubble does go wide <laughs> shao how ends up Kind of oh no, the shake. handshake! Hostile takeover! Assume just flashes out of that one. RA trying to make the re-engage on the Xiaohao happen. The face call has been used. Vickless here. Vickless trying to get the angle. The Emperor's Divide beautifully done, but they don't have the damage. And Xiaohu is here! Nayo dies in the end, and Vickless is going to be an alcove gamer that also falls. Handshake from Crispin. There's the play we were looking for! The man just can't stop! And Xiaohu gets his first kill. It is off to the races now for Weibo. The best part is the fact that both teams, both teams knew each other were there, right? Feels so bad too. And they just can't get any pressure on this bottom side of the map, literally. The tidal wave comes through though. Kali got top of it too, the double bubble. Zora is just Vikla. showing him how it works. Vikla oh. engaged on instantly by Xiaohao. He makes it out alive though. And Nayo, he's in the middle of everybody, but there are the stones being thrown by Weibo straight at the face of the rare atoms. I feel like it looks so good for RA at first. Well, actually, this kind of went in cycles, right? It looks kind of trolled by RA at first, like from Xiao Hao, like Assume would have had to blow with just both summoners there potentially to be able to get out. I guess maybe not both. If you flash immediately, you don't need to use the barrier, but. All right, Xiao Hu, can't you survive here? Vikla gonna dodge out of that, and it won't be enough. Vikla gets the kill, Nayo in the support, and that is a nice dive on the Xiao Hu. You're gonna find some, so many champions even buying his first item these days. I like this setup from RA. They just want to find something, and guess who they find? It is Xiao Hao taking the brunt of it, but that's the Crescent Guard back. Vickla gets stunned up at the last second by Crisp. That was so big, and Crisp is having a monster performance on this Renata. I do believe Crisp was the first support who really adapted Renata in the LPL. Presence, we can already see some wards coming down from Weibo to make sure they know what's going on, and look, Light's the one taking Drake. A little bit difficult now, though. You do have Xiaoxu on the back end. The Weaver's Wall's back up, same as last time. 
The dragon is stopped. Light on his way, realizing that the committal is there. Oh. Keeper's verdict out. That's huge, actually. Shaoshu making a big difference. They need to burn the Baron to do something here. Everybody's just going for it now. Shaohao's in the pit. Nayo's going in. The Baron goes over, and it's gone to RA. It's still looking like a fight going Weibo's way, though, and it's unfortunately Shaoshu has to give his life there in the end. Two Baron buffs make it out, but Weibo hammering home at the end of the day wave of staff come through zdz is a menace he literally just pulled three members off of him they could continue to collapse bot lane and mid lane Weibo just having all the decision making power here i mean there's just so much threat on them now oh the here it comes Shaoshu channeling it up that keeper's verdict will not hit anybody there zdz goes in for the engage goes all out as well and now Shaoshu gets hostile takeover and he's just gonna go down too wind becomes lightning he finally falls and it's crisp who gets the kill another turret goes down and so far the bricks are being crumbled piece by little piece and now Weibo gonna be able to take mid turret get inhibitor off this looks like they're gonna turn bot instead of trying to just keep pushing the base Makes sense. You used a lot of your ults to try to make it so far, at least in one series. Now, Weibo are going to take all the advantages they've garnered and take this Baron unless RA can get in. Well, I guess we're going to see if, if Nayo is Chris. Is Chris? He, Chris tried to do the flash Renata combo as well. And there you go. Engage coming out from Nayo. The big keeper's verdict actually knocks a decent a chunk. But you got Vikla in the middle just getting chunked down himself. Crisp has made it back. He gets bailed out by himself. And Weibo, the light's just sitting there chunking Shaoshu. And it truly is just the We Brought Gamers coming alive. And you know what? Game one, it was close. But game two, Weibo just come out strong. And First series, this team is looking on sync. And this will be a 2-0 victory. Game two, a lot cleaner than game number one was, but a scrappy first series victory on the season. That's <laughs> all right. And I'll pick apart a couple more pieces, but congratulations to Weibo on the 1-0 start. I still just love what Chris just took the Rift Herald for, you know, for a vacation. Like, my <laughs> That's God, my favorite man. part. We've definitely seen Cassante solo kill Jaxes in like yep. mid to late game numerous times this week. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, the dragon did end up going to TT. Now they're trying to make a play on bot side. Yukal is here. The Emperor's divide. Nice little push. The bubble connects as well. And the calling to the face is gonna give that one XN first blood. A great synergy coming through from the TT side, but now Hoya looking for those aggressive shades on the Jax, like we said. Got the all out there, looking for it. Takes the tower shot. That's just tragic, right? That's like if he's locked down one more second, the an auto comes through, he gets taken down. Not gonna be able to find a kill, but at least they can turn this into meaningful pressure by getting on these rubs and ooh. Zika. Zika. He gets knocked back, can't get the blast code, does it now Baton. He's in some trouble. He has no flash, he has no way out of it. That might be a dead tree. Jojo's trying to save him. He can't do anything. The calling there. Page one. Oh. He's still alive. What is happening? Is he happening? finally dies. As the grumpies are there, they're trying to fight 1XN, but what the hell? We just got double baited. We just got... So I really love... I, they went ahead and uh, grabbed that one here. I really love the early damage potential that the first item spike for Deer and Mission have. Now we got to see what the item spike for uh, Scout's going to be here. It's, Boy, Hoya gonna all out. Might not be enough here. He's pretty tanky. Oh! A little bit stuck there. Hoya gonna have to flash out. Dies to Zika in the end. Yeah. I mean, it goes down. Still surprising. On the responses. But now he doesn't really have any tools moving forward. Hoya now on the backside of LNG. Needs to be a little bit careful. Dragon started up here, Lyric. Yeah, Hoya putting so much threat on with that all out. If you take one member to the side of TP. Here we go. Beituan, he's, oh, it's actually 1XN that gets the dragon. What a chance, but it's Hoya that will be the bait and switch. Gala gets the kill in the end. I also feel like, unfortunately, for Hoya, like, ulting away from his team. I don't, I don't know if ulting towards his team would have done anything. I think he might have still been too close to Weiwei. Wei, but at the end of the day, kill does go over. I like that TT are making a fast response in mid. And once again, still just seeing the trades be able to come through for LNG. I guess the big benefit is TT is on soul point, right? So LNG being the ones who are sweating, TT have really find an impact. Uh, you, you combo that flank, even if the rest of PT were far with an ult from Chocho. I'll be able to bottom up time to at least force out the Jax DP. I love it. 1XN 
moving forward. And oh, there's the impulse oh, to buy. It caught the person you needed to. Gala's out of the fight. And Wood Exit is popping off now. As TT have taken the fight to LNG. We've been waiting for it for the past 10 minutes. We knew the UCAL moment would come. You have two mobile carries. If the Azir can get that Empress divided, it is massive. And now 4TT turning to this Baron. We're gonna see if LNG can do anything in response because they need to contest. I love it. Seeing these two guys come together to be a carry force for TT is something that TT fans have been looking for for a long time. And it feels like it's alive and well here in 2024. A they really do. And I see TT just needing to walk in as five. They don't really, they could look for a body on to the side of Zika, but it's going to be really difficult. Now the dragon's already halfway gone. The Nation's Grass comes out. TT know what they want. They did get it too. It's going to be Hoya that completes it. And the calling is doing some work. The Breath of Life is not life enough just yet. As Hoya's there, nice little knockbacks. And now it's just TT feeding on LNG like wolves. How? to the moon! TT showing why they kept this core together. They believed they had something last season. We saw glimpses of it. We knew that- They easily cleaned this base up and what a way to take it to one of our top performing teams in 2023 and give them a nice warm welcome to 2024. TT up 1-0. One XN having a good performance, which is kind of funny because, you know, so I'll, I'll, I'll let people know. When we were talking about this before the match, you, you did really want to highlight 1XN. And I'm like, yeah, you know, 1XN's pretty cool. Like, it's yeah. just so far, LNG's map completely. Wait, wait, still being a menace. Beitron actually does get that nuggy. Uh, Zika, early flash here, just to try to get away from Hoya. The knockback is there. The all out is all there. And Zika goes down to a solo. To Hoya. And it's so strange. This team we were building up for their individual skill, the, what they were able to accomplish last to lean down. Doesn't really mean anything just yet. Looks like he's going to switch oh, back up. Scout. That's an early package use there. Scout with the good decision making to try to go preemptively. I uh -oh. agree, right? Uh oh. Ooh, bubble connect. Oh, nice little double there. And the Moonlight Vigil on top of it, not going to be enough. 1XN, he has no real tools except for his flash. But also, Weiwei is a little bit caught out here. He doesn't have that level advantage anymore. Page 1 oh. connects. And Gaul is in some trouble. The flash from 1XN. And the man continues to pop the hell off. And DT coming into the start of the split strong. Where's he scalping anything back? But luckily, Ooh. you cow. Safe with the Valkyrie there. With 1XN's health bar, I would assume, yeah, they're pretty good to pick up the strike right now, so we're going to see TT able to get that one. And now counteract. And just like carrying it yeah. over as well. It just feels really bad because you have the dash plus the flash, so it's just extra distance that you're bringing over. And now you have a nice momentum spike from TT, but Scout trying to put a hamper on that one with a spike straight in the ground. A bubble does not connect, but 1XN will be the bait, and he does go down. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it connected or not, right? Because Scout already made the play. You have the CC from what And there it. are still tools available, like the, the calling. It's really just force out the waves. Mark's going to have to flash. flash. He does oh. burn it. He's going to sidestep, though. Nice little snake maneuver for Mark. As now Gala stepping forward. Going to pelter Tokyo. As Rocket Ooh. Mirage, the man uh, screaming from the heavens. I'm happy he picks it up in the end because... I was surprised available. And that's going to be the difference maker, right? Because like you're yep. saying, with some of these like big spikes for LNG, it's going to be all about how UCAL can use the package. So I think Baytron setting that up with his ulti will be critical. Zika is pretty big on the side here. They're going to collapse here, but it's the culling that takes UCAL down to half health. The nature's grab to use Gala stepping forward. Gala poking out UCAL. UCAL has to use the package defensively. Weiwei has overextended himself, and Weiwei has found nothing but dirt underneath him as Hoya steps out. It is Gala still peppering we see Tidal Wave come out, but no real follow-up going to be able to happen. You don't have great turn potential here for TT now that that Maokai is down. The Scout has a big angle here. The beautiful synergy between Scout and this Baron Pit. Sika's on the side. He can get a Meganar. He gets a five-man here if he can, but the Baron's already got an LNG. Can't do anything about it. I guess even if you don't have Maokai just how narrow that choke point is makes it too dangerous or LNG to even think about really committing. They're going to try and get their Constellation Prize, which sole point, right? Not the worst Constellation Prize in the world. If you can weather the, the storm that's coming over the next few minutes, I mean, then you're really going to put some pressure on TT.
That's the question, though. I mean, you were already at a 2K lead. That Baron play makes the difference. Now it's an even game. Through those one of these days once Orin is relevant again. But uh, speaking of relevancy, we do have the package available now for you, Cal. We saw the last couple times this has been available. It's been a TT differential. We'll see if he can get out of this one this time. Package does get used there defensively for a third time. Page one, Ooh. he's in deep. Scout's picked out, but he goes out alive. As Zika's about half health has Meganar coming up. You Cal's in some trouble, but has all that damage backed up with those rockets. Not going to be able to hit anything just yet. The biggest difference right now, though, Dragon is up. Beichuan is not up. So this is a smite difference for LNG. No, he, Beichuan, that, that play, I was so surprised he went forward with how low HP was. Now he's going to be on winning down from Yukao, but I don't think DT can really do anything here. They're going to try to he, force that boy it is old. Oh, big shot out of the back line there, but it will just be that. So Sadly, not walking, you know, more to the left side with that sweeper. So LNG will still be able to maintain some vision. Whoa, Vaitron thinks he had an angle, but ends up getting engaged on anyways, and he's just gone yet again, twice in a row. I guess the problem is, right, the only one who, who outranges the side of LNG is Yukao, and it's only with the ultimate. We're seeing now Scal, the culling from Gala, all of this just being too much for the rest of Kiki to handle. Yeah, we see, though, a little bit of damage. Oh, it's going to go over the way, way. And that means LNG stream forth. The Moonlight Vigil does come back as to turn LNG around. And TT here as the pressure mounts. For now, I really just feel like you need some kind of, like, play with the package to get going again. Ooh, Gala oh, Gala goes for it aggressively. And he gets away with a much better health pull than Yukal did, and that means the tower falls now onto the inhib too. Gala playing very confidently. Yeah, so far looks like looks like three games is coming now for LNG. It's gonna be easy. Just back up. You have because you're gonna lose the game. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so everyone knows eyes on Yukal. What can he do? Is Gala just gonna There it is! Okay? There it is! He goes over on a scout! Moonlight Vigil's gonna go wide now. Yukal's in some trouble. He's all by himself. He's getting the call into the back. Beichuan's trying to get over there, but the healing comes through. And now LNG looking to turn the fight. Jojo's got nothing left, and LNG are handling business and pushing us to a game three. That's LNG with a full frontal assault on the senses of TT. The damage from Scout and Gala just too much, and Zika able to lock one XN down, confirm the kill, and great showing by LNG, showing signs of life the later this game went on. I'm just surprised we didn't see them try to game plan around an Elder Dragon. They just wanted to go ham and get the fight over with, I guess. And LNG will take that all day long. They take it to the bank, and we're tied up one to one. Yeah, and I, I guess there really just wasn't a world where, where Yu Cal's damage itself was enough to really put pressure on the side of LNG, kind of like like I was painting it out to be. The, yeah. the, if not, it's just going to be a game where potentially Gala's just going to be able to define the game with his poke, assuming he goes the lethality. Bot side here. I, I like that he's recognized this because it definitely feels like that this has been the turning point for he the has an angle. so far. And he, he, he's got it. He's got it. TT, you're going to have to Easy. blow summoners. You got to remember this is season 14, and here's Wei Wei with the angle. Cho Cho getting a little bit low. He's got one more tick, and it's gone. Mark gets first blood. They find the kill. Cho Cho even blowing those summoners. I really super safe up there, too. Not really any angles for Beichuan to get in there. We do have Wei Wei and Beichuan meeting. Ooh. As he does miss the stun in the end, Beichuan's going to be a little bit of trouble. Doesn't a pop in that ulti to try to get the pops. But Wei Wei is just the stronger jungler face to face. Especially with the fact that he didn't land his Q or W, right? Ooh, change of corruption. Instant Forces cleanse. the cleanse. Yeah, that was a lot of pressure. But now going to try and return it with the culling. And... Damage is Looks like that's what Weiwei wants to do. Doesn't want to let Beichuan just continue to farm up. As Scout has moved, it means that TT don't have eyes on all the members. Yukao, though, goes in on a Scout, gets the Buster Ooh. Shot, but the Pop Blossom back. Beichuan in some trouble now, gets kick comboed. And he's not going down just yet. Beautiful bubble from Chucho. Meanwhile, Scout falls. Weiwei has overextended himself, does get the kill on a Beichuan. Both junglers down, but ends up in a two for one trade in favor of TT. That bubble and that heal coming out from show. Dragon stacking has ended up being pretty beneficial. So it's getting two of those early feels good. Oh, scout. Probably going to be fine being this close to turret. Probably, We're right? Pro probably, right? Probably. Oh, yeah, it's definitely dead. But scout does fall to you, Cal, giving the Tristana a 201 scoreline, and you'll take that all day.
Did someone tell TT that today's games were scrims? Like, like away from, from the corner. Get ready for the upcoming objectives on top side. You know, Harold going to be up soon as well. But Sundered Sky finished on Weiwei. That is a pretty big oh, power spike. Scout. Catching Toto on the end. Uh, double Tangle Barb too. Gala will end up getting Toto, but the bouncing. Scout's in some trouble. Will end up getting the shielding down. The burn is not going to be enough this time around. No, if, but if Beatron is flash here, would have been a one for one. Doesn't is still gonna Let's just go for it. He know he knows this is his side of the jungle. Especially with the fact that uh Does that Hoya know that this is not his side of the map though? I think he's about to find out real bad because the handshake comes through and Hoya's trying to get under turret, but it doesn't matter. Zika gets the kill. So now LNG going to be able to put some more pressure down there. I want to see TT if they start to aggressively walk whoa, through the whoa, jungle. Whoa, Jojo does. Jojo, run away. Weiwei is doing some... It's going to be... I was going to say, it's going to be about right now, right? Dragon coming up in 10 seconds. Start moving over. Who's driving? Oh, yeah. Jojo, let's go. I'd drive with Jojo any day. Oh, wait. No, I wouldn't. Wait uh, a second. Okay. Well, there is that. Tidal wave goes through, though. Oh, my God. You has gone. The bouncing is huge, though. Scout's about to die, too. Baked one starting to tick up online. He does hit level 11 now, too. The Rift Herald, unfortunately, doesn't do anything. Uh, this should open up, though, for the soul, for soul Point to be unlocked by LNG. LN TT still hovering in the area. We don't have this many ults, though. This is real dicey, and Scout was looking for the angle over there. Baytuan going in now, trying to get in. He doesn't get it. It's Weiwei who secures Soul Point for LNG. Scout's on the back end here. TT in some trouble. Hoya just dies. There's because he doesn't have a tank stat. They're paper thin, Mazel. What can There's they do? There's literally nothing. You count going in. Go ham, son, because that's all you can do. A Tangle Barb connects onto 1XN. TT just trying to poke at the damage, but LNG, they are surviving. Out the wazoo, let's see what we can do. Yeah, there, hey, okay, there good. Go. We, we get to see, see how it starts. <laughs> Scout actually finding the big impact play. Q luckily connects by Weiwei. Oh, no time to look, because we got TP coming in topside. That's Zika and Scout, the power duo. Tidal Wave comes through. Hostile takeover dodged out. Base one, he's just dragged down. And that's unfortunate timing because now LNG just have control of full top side of the map. Honestly, I feel like that was like the perfect amount of time for that replay. Anything the that was that was. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that oh. TT committed so much. I was gonna say Zika chases that down ten times out of ten. He's just gonna kill outright Ucal. TT are falling apart at the seams. It and uh, the the Buster shot coming out from Ucal. Wait, wait, oh, wait, very scary here. I think he wants to try to steal it. He has the vision now, but he will be pounced on here. Scout looking for it. Scout, he's huge! And the reigning MVP of the league is making his name known here in 2024. He will be ending up dragged out as well, but Beichuan, he's standing up against a big wall right now. He's got to try to find the outplay. Gal is streaming forth. Here's some damage down. He doesn't have the ult. He has oh nothing left, God. but here you go. He might actually take down Gala here, though. The shielding from the safeguard is enough, but Yukal wants it. He wants the resets. He's not going to get it. The bailout's not enough either. 1XN now culling into the back of Weiwei. Can't find it. Chaos abandoning the faith of TT, and it ends up being an L. There is actually just a lot of AoE coming out from both sides, uh, right? Hot to He's in a lot of trouble here. He's going to ult, but it's not enough, and Zika just claims the kill easily. Hostile takeover used defensively for Mark, and LNG right in front of the Baron Pit say, well, why not just start it up? The calling is going to be used straight into the clone of Scout, and Baron started up. TT backs against the oh. wall. Chains of Corruption goes wide from Gala. TT need to find a way in. 1XN, can he stand up to the task? Yukal, the double ADC composition. Is it going to be enough? Half health there. Yukal needs to pick somebody off. The bubble goes wide. They're in the pit now. Z LNG's taking a ton of damage. In They're the taking the so pit. much. They get it, though. They get the Baron. Hoya's in the back, though. Bubble hits on a two. Yukal's trying to get resets. Yukal can't do it. And he's down. All five members stand stoically from LNG. This Baron. LNG are going to be able to maintain lane prio, keep vision set up for the dragon. They're taking away camps in the enemy jungle. Really, everything oh is falling apart. All right, play. here they go. They're going on to Zika. He's completely caught out now as well. He's going pretty ham here, though. Counter strike in. Oh, no. 1XN does survive. Kill goes over to Hoya. Big shutdown. They will end up saving themselves for a little bit. <laughs> this TT, does that come up? Does that matter? TT start up the dragon. 
Weiwei not envision. There's no ward from TP in this push. Oh, okay. Beichuan gets he gets the bounty there as well. I thought Hoya was gonna be a little bit more trouble than he is, but he might actually still be. Chains of corruption come down. It's TT leaving their top laner out. Yeah, Zika's Zika's oh, 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 should have oh, meant no. more, oh, but it's no. not. Beichuan is completely caught here. He has no way out, and then Scout. He gets caught himself. He doesn't get the Pop Blossom off. Beichuan is still alive somehow, but not for long. He does end up going down. Scout almost falls too to UCAL, but it is just LNG cleaning up a little bit after a messy fight. Takeover comes through, and that just means TT a little bit uh, scary there. It might be time to close the eyes and hope for the best. They got the TTP now coming in, actually, rather. Uh, Toya has an angle. I think this is it. Mark goes down. Gala. Goes down too, no gets the bailout, gets shot in the end by 1XN. He gets two kills for the ADC of TT, but now Zika wants more. Zika wants blood, and Zika wants Chocho. As he's gone, Scout is now all by himself. Things are starting to get a little bit ruckus here for LNG as Beichuan cleans up the kill. Yeah, I, I, I had Baron, and Stole was coming up in 30 seconds, and yep. their top laner died, and then they tried to all admit, and then they died. Zika, he finds Beichuan. He's going to flash over the wall there. That's a little bit rough. Hey, the tidal wave coming in now as well. Beichuan, he needs to get in the pit, but it doesn't matter really. Scout's going to clone tank a lot of the damage. Baron down very low. Beichuan's in. Beichuan oh, gets Beichuan. it. What a key moment. The hostile taker is back. He has no way out. He is dead to rights, but he gets the Baron. Maybe it lets TT survive, but Zika doesn't want to let them. He wants out. The flash comes through from Chocho. They will survive with maybe they have an opportunity considering that scout does still have his ultimate if tt are grouped up you you can get scout in there and, and try to find the engage these barren up minions along with the you know the wave clear coming out from things like tristana culling will be back up soon it is going to be very difficult oh yukau yukau fell oh. away he got him one more no 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 he can't get the auto he can't get the distance he's got rocket jump coming up he's got it there it is yukau catches him out but min meanwhile back at the base the League of Evil has done their work. They've got the inhib turret and the inhib. As Yukao's trying to come in for a side flank here. Hoy is trying to chase him down the speed up. They do have the calling coming up, and there it is. Gala's is going to flash. Gala's is going to chase across the tidal wave. Bring it the avalanche. Scout's going to go through. Double Kangle Barb, though. Scout's in trouble. Hoy is on the back line. Hoy is chasing down Gala. And Hoy has got him. Lose. They've got him all. A CT. You cannot doubt the thunder. You do not need utility. All you need is damage, 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 and more damage. How did DT They're gonna come win. Back in this game? No way they win this series. We said how much it means with one single chance to take down LNG. And they're knocking on the doors right now. They take them down. LNG fall. And TT with a two. With that one victory to kick off 2024. UCAL actually got out of his. These were some of the best highlights from all of the LPL spring matchups of the day. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.